Hey guys, what's going on? It's Game Guy 3424 here. First of all, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the mouse on screen. Um, Frat's kind of messed up, so the mouse is oh unavoidable. It's, it's it's a mess, small, tiny thing though. I don't think it should bother anybody unless you focus on it and you're a complete douchebag. But One this time we're gonna be going through the entire prehistory channel and the boss, uh, which is. Gexzilla versus Mega Res. So, as you can see, I am not too fond of the enemies in the prehistory. This place has always pissed me off. Um, so, since my videos are kind of few and far between, I will not be posting as many videos often now, and I will not be doing a 100% run of this. So, so like I was saying, today we're going to be covering the prehistory channel, this old cave, and the boss. So basically, I follow my usual tradition, which is go out of order with the remotes and go to the wrong one by accident because I have no earthly idea where the hell I'm going. So we're going to start off... Oh, look at that, free life. So basically, we're just going to be... I went the completely wrong way here. I'm gonna say it right now. Wrong way. So, another theme you're gonna basically be seeing throughout, like, I've been seeing a lot more often, is that I tend to get hit a lot and probably end up dying. But, checkpoint. Sweet. So let's see, uh, unclimbable plant. I guess that fawn is not climbable or whatever. So anyway, watch for dripping magma. Ow! See, look, look at my health. I'm at one now, and I gotta deal with this bastard. If you remember in the first prehistory channel video, I had a problem with them in the first place. Okay, now I could have taken that tiny little break from this right on that little spot there, but I didn't. So um, let's go up, boing. Up, up, up. Plants! They're everywhere. What are you doing? He needs to get out. He needs a GTFO. I will kick the ever living shit out of you. Get out of here. Ah, screw this enemy. I'm done. Get me out of here. Of the that covers the climb the plants mission. I did that one by accident. So again, I'm gonna apologize for the mouse in the center of the video. I have no way to like edit it out or anything. Oh look, we unlocked something. I wonder what's over here this time. But okay. Ah, TV mess up, but luckily for me, I know how to get right back in. So, we're gonna do Watch for Falling Lava this time. And this is the point where I actually do them in order. At least I... Th One at least day I soon, there'll be a smoke belching factory here. Right, so... Basic same pathway as last time. We're gonna go straight until we reach a certain point. Which is right on the what, the secondary white webbing, whatever the hell it is. I don't know. I don't know if it's webbing or if it's just. I I, I can't tell. It looks like like webbing or glue or something like that. It's kind of disturbing. But anyway, here's the point where we have a choice to. Here's the point where we have a chop cut. Something over there. Nah, I think it's like that just came from here. We go. Oh look, a little egg enemy. We don't see many of them. We haven't seen those guys since the first prehistory channel. Anyway, watch for dripping magma here. That is strangely appropriate in this situation, Gex. Thank you very much. Ugh, it drips. I could have gone, but oh well. It's better safe than sorry. Another free life coming up. Get off the wall! Right, so, continuing. Um, Let's see here. Drip, drip, drip. Yep, you know how it goes. So basically... Continue to watch the magma. That was probably the shortest mission possible in this area. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Easy. I'm actually kind of surprised that it was so short and so easy to do. Moving on to the final remote of Slip this of old the game in the prehistory channel. Looks like we're going to be doing some steam vent dodging. Ugh. One day soon, there'll be a smoke belching factory here. Sure. Okay then, guys. 
prehistoric Gex. Do we know? Let's see. What other games do I know where you fight a prehistoric version of yourself? Oh, yeah. Crash Bandicoot 3 warped when uh, you're in the prehistoric sections of the uh, warp zone. You end up fighting a fish version of yourself at some points. And it does a spin attack, so. Hmm. Go figure. I guess Crystal Dynamics had uh, all this in mind when they did it. But I think this came out before Crash 3. I'm not sure, so. Ow, ass burn. Anyway. So, here's the area that. Here's the area that we saw earlier. Ow. I'm noticing a pattern here. I have been left with one heart each and every time. Try it again, bitch. I will kick your ass. I'm gonna go fly fishing with your face. Using my tail as your bait. Damn right. Ow. God, so much deep fried ass. It's not even funny. Anyway. Oh, God, another one. No, no, no. Out, out. Bitch, I kill you. What is it, man? What's your... What's your malfunction, anyway? Ugh, these steam... Ventilated platforms are a pain in the ass. So we've got a little bit of lag going on here. But... We're good enough. We're good enough, less. Oh, God. Here we go again. Okay, I didn't bother to see what was on the left path there. Didn't bother to go there, because I was low on health, I didn't want to get dead or anything, so I just moved on. Oh god, here we go again. Steam vent, dodge, go, go! Oh god, get the hell out! Get me out of here! Lip of the tongue. Well. There we go. Three remotes found. Excellent. Well, that's it for the prehistory channel, I guess. But yeah, since it's a not 100 percent run, let's move on. Now, as you saw when we first came into the area, there was a boss arena, so let's do that now. Which is Gaxilla vs. Mega Res. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> I have heard this fight is so freaking easy. Okay, so I walk around like a goddamn zombie. Oh, I can break the building he's on. He loses health if I do that. Okay. That works. Okay, so he apparently likes to use his ass as a weapon. That's quite interesting. Um, okay, so as you can see, his health is like quadruple mine. If you've been counting, it's four hits so far, and he still has a butt ton of health left. So basically, this guy's got like 16 points of health. To be honest, I think it's more like 20, but. So, two ways to damage him. When he tries to attack you, smack him, or if he gets on top of the building, smack him as a You ran headfirst into a building, you retard! Anyway, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Ow. Well, that's that's mostly half of his health bar gone, and I think that's nine hits so far, so... My honest opinion is he probably has 20 hits then, considering that's like the 10th hit, so... So yeah, pretty simple boss fight. Yeah, Crystal Dynamics is not known for complexity in boss fights, it's just go beat the crap out of the opponent. Yeah, 20 points worth of health, so he is about 5 times your health. Then again, his, attack, his attacks are fairly attack. His attacks are fairly easy to dodge. So as you can see, this is like this isn't this boss is just really time consuming rather than difficult, I will say. Pathetic. Ouch. Dick. Oops. Did you fall on your little hand? Yeah, the thing is though about his thrust attack is that he shoots so far, it's hard to like get him right next to you so you can smack him off. Alright, this is the end of the fight. Yeah, that was like way too easy. He exploded in a beautiful shockwave. Golden Remo. Alright, so that boss fight. Easy, thumbs up. Ah, the blue gate opens. So, now we can head through the blue gate. Let's move on. 
So, the only thing really left to do for this video now... I, th I guess I thought the wall was climbable. I think the wall was climbable, but it's not. So, as you can see, 14... This is an area we've already been through. If the camera angles stop being so retarded... Let's go through the blue gates, and we'll just see what's over here. I have no idea what's over here, so... I think it's 26 remotes to go on the R, go on the other side of that. My tail oh, got lucky there. So, next time on Gex 64, we will be doing the Kung Fu Theater Round 2. This is Game Guy 3424. See you guys next time. Bye-bye now.